All right, Coach, so overall, just how did you think the match against St. Francis went? I, I was pleased with the start that we got off to. I, I thought those first eight, nine points, we played as clean and as sharp uh, a stretch of eight or nine points than we played all year. Uh, I thought that uh, we created opportunities to score, and I thought in the first set we squandered some, some opportunities. I thought it wound up 25-16, it could have very easily wound up 25-10 had we converted. I think we made four hitting errors in transition that give us those four points, take away four from St. Francis, and the next thing you know, they're down to 12. Um, then I thought they kind of picked it up, raised their level of play. The, the good part for us, uh, I thought our passing and serving really served us well, no, no pun intended, uh, games two and three, where we stayed in system. We sided out, I think, at 88% and 81%. It makes it tough for a team to score points on you. So St. Francis was forced to, to play some, some consistently high volleyball over the course of the match. And they, they did for the most part. You know, they scored some points. And, but at the, end of the, at the end of the games, I thought we just, our competitive level just rose and they weren't able to match it. And then you put in uh, Aiden Albright mm. uh, end of the second set. All the third set. How do you think he played? Seemed like he spun uh, the team. Five kills, eleven swings, one error, uh, four digs. Uh, served the ball well. Uh, you know, Aiden's been around. He, he, we've asked him to play so many different comp, uh, different positions during his career here. He's played left side. He's played right side. Last year we threw him in the middle when Sife went down. Uh, about the only thing we haven't asked him to do is set or play libero yet. And. Aiden, I think, is just rounding into form where he's comfortable with what he can do and how how he can fit into the team. And, you know, and he took some great swings, and you know, I think he just kind of settled us down. And there was no real real panic at all when when Aiden was in there, either from him or from the from the rest of the team on the floor. So he did. He just he did a, a really nice job with what we've asked him to do. Speaking of Saif, he also had a, a big game again in that third set. How is that leadership on the court kind of going to help you guys down the road, you think? Well, it's helped us even, you know, it's a, he's, a, he's a third year captain and his leadership is is one of the strengths of this team. And I think that, you know, anytime that Saif is with us, on the court, off the court, his presence is still dictates a lot to this team. And I like what he did on the court. I mean, six for eight in and, and swings. I think he had four blocks. Uh, served the ball well. You know, uh, that's that's kind of what you want out of your middles. And finally, going into a Saturday matchup this weekend against Mount Olive, what can you expect from them and what are you guys going to work on? It's, it's pretty much a team that has been together for the past two, maybe three years. Uh, a uh, young setter from Pennsylvania that, that we've known that is doing some nice things for them. Um, and Jeff Yasalonis, uh, they've got they've got a good middle, a good opposite. They're going to take some swings. Uh, you know, I think they come into the into Rec Hall with the feeling if we have nothing to lose and everything to gain. So I think they're going to be ready to go from the very beginning. They they open their season or they open St. Francis season down there at Mount Olive with a three set win over St. Francis. So this is a team that can play the game pretty well. All right, Coach, thanks for your time. Thank you.